Welcome to Other Levels. In today's tutorial, we're continuing our journey in building the Sales Performance and Growth Analysis Dashboard using Microsoft Excel. If you haven't already, be sure to visit other-levels.com, where you can download the templates and datasets used in this tutorial. Let's dive right in. To enhance the clarity of our visuals, we'll start by removing the grid lines and the legend from the chart. Next, select the line chart, change its color, and set the line width to 2PT for better visibility. For the area chart, apply a gradient fill as shown to create a smooth, professional look. Now, let's refine the chart further by removing the background color. From the design menu, we'll add data labels, formatting them in white, bold, and size 12 for better readability. Then, we'll insert a title to clearly define this analysis. To highlight trends, we'll add a trend line, set it to orange, and change the style to dashed for distinction. Moving on to the donut charts, we'll adjust them to match the dashboard's design. To save time, we'll save one chart as a template so we can quickly apply the same formatting to the remaining donut charts. Simply right-click, choose Change Chart Type, Templates, and select the saved template. For better visualization, we'll add a line between the chart and the 2024 value in the line chart. Then, we'll adjust the data labels. Positioning them inside the chart for a cleaner look. To enhance interpretation, we'll include arrows beside the data labels, indicating whether the values are positive or negative. Now, let's provide a summary insight explaining these values and overall sales performance. This part will be manually updated to ensure accuracy. Next, we'll introduce a yearly slicer for better interactivity. 
We'll format the slicer into four columns. Then from the slicer settings, enable hide items with no data, while also hiding the slicer header for a streamlined appearance. Once formatted, we'll move the slicer into the dashboard. To enhance the design, we'll add a rounded rectangular shape as a background for the slicer. Then copy and paste the dashboard background format onto it, for consistency. Finally, we'll improve navigation by adding two buttons, allowing seamless switching between the dashboard and the input report. That's the final tutorial for this project. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. We also encourage you to join our membership and access comprehensive video tutorials covering all our premium templates. See you in the next lesson.